jolly good. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Clayton Zoker, and welcome back to another My Thoughts on. Today, I'm going to be talking about Sweet Sixteen. This is a 2002 drama directed by Ken Loach, who I'm not awfully familiar with, but from what I've seen, he's directed some interesting looking films, like the only ones I'm, I recognise are um, I, Daniel Blake, and uh, Sorry We Missed You. That's kind of all I know. And uh, so, uh, Sweet Sixteen, um, this is another this is another case where I have seen the trailer via VHS openings for uh, Icon Distribution, which I do remember, of course, yeah. Um, it looked, I don't know, it just reminded me so much of like the indie rough dramas you'd see, like this is England, or um, I guess train spotting in a way, because it's in you know in Scotland, eh? And they talk a bit like this, but the accents so thick like you can't understand them. Anyways, the film stars Martin Compton, who's also going to be in a film. Well, he wasn't a film, but I'm going to be talking about the disappearance of Alice Creed on Wednesday, and he's in that too. Coincidence? I think not. Seriously, I think not. Literally. Um, I don't know. This, it seems to be pretty well praised by everyone, really. So, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of these sorts of, like, chavvy dramas about these, like, young lads in a rough neighbourhood. I don't know, it's not, it's a bit too British and a bit too close for me, but I, 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 I watched it anyways, I watched it all the way to the end. Um, so, the film's about the Scottish teenager who comes from a tough background. He sets out to raise money for a home for his mother who's in prison. And uh, he wants a normal life, but things get, well, as to be expected, hard and tough. And that's it, because um, I don't know about you, but I've watched this on Amazon Prime, and by April, because the film is now 20, it came out in 2002, I think. Um, yeah, so it's going to be 20 years old in a few months. So it's on Prime right now, and it's been on Prime for a little bit, and uh, I don't know if it's like going to, you know, be free all the time. I watched it, and there was no subtitles. I thought, all right, and then the film started, and the biggest problem with the film is that I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand a single thing. Well, most of the time, I couldn't understand what they were saying. Um, and usually with Scottish actors, I can understand them perfectly fine, but here, and I can't remember where this film takes place, but they're in one part of Scotland where it's quite rough, and they speak very, very thick accents, like very, very broad and very much, you know, international, if you know what I mean. Um, but it, it does, okay... I want to read something that I found on um, Wikipedia that I found rather, I do mean rather interesting. So let me just quickly look for that. Because I found it just so fascinating. Really fascinating. Hopefully it's all low because I think this is something that just... <sighs> it should have come... The subtitle should have came with the film. I'll put it that way. So, uh, yeah, it's showing with subtitles because, as of many... Okay, so this is with Loach's films. The dialogue is extensively in a local dialect. There you go. In this case, it is the...
Applied very little Scottish English and Scots a similar dialect and accent to Glaswegian. So yeah, pretty much, I say about 80, 95% sure that you can barely hear what they're saying. The accent is so fucking thick. <laughs> and, um, very indescribable. Like, I can pick up some words what they're saying because, you know, Scottish, but half the time I had to look up what happened in the film and what the story is because I could barely... I could barely understand what they were saying. So, originally I was watching and I thought, this isn't really doing it for me because it's another This Is England and this was way before the movie. Not as popular though, but still. And, um, actually I decided to say, you know what, I'm going to watch more of it and then stop. And then I kept watching it and I thought, okay, this is going in a direction that I didn't see or didn't know about. Mm. And, uh, where do I begin? This is not a bad movie by any means. It's another case where it did nothing for me. It's not as bad as on the other icon films, but it's a film where you have a guy or a teenager and uh, the actor Mark. Uh, Fuck, I'm gonna forget his name in a minute. He's in another. He's in the disappearance of Alice Creed. What the fuck? Martin comes to it. Uh, this is his first. This was his first feature film, and he's quite good. I think all the actors just play very realistic and very natural and quite aggressive too and there's times where the actors act like people I would even know from my family you know just around me friends or relatives and they play it they, they play it so naturalistically and and they're all very very good actors all of them um visually it's it's Competently well shot. It's shot in a very rough part of Scotland. I don't think it's Glasgow. It's uh, Glaswegian, I think. I can't confirm. I remember, to be honest with you. But there are a couple of cool shots that look very, very nice. Uh, the music is subtle and well chosen, even though not, it's, it's not used that much. And there are a couple of really good scenes that are used to their ability in terms of makeup and stuff. Um, yeah, maybe not quite as graphic as this is England, but there are a few bloody scenes of uh, blood, obviously. And uh, there are some very powerful moments, just a couple, but didn't, none of them grabbed me or anything like that, but they were... I kind of felt them in a way. I'll put it that way. However, everything else is your typical, you know, drama, teenage film, England. Well, Scotland in this case. It's like this is England and like fucking... Oh, I can't remember the other film. That's going to that's gonna drive me mad. But throughout the film, I was thinking of one other film that this reminded me of, and I can't remember it, besides um, This Is England. It seemed like, um... Oh, I lost it. Anyways, um... Yeah, this didn't do a thing for me. It's mainly because I could understand what they were saying. Granted, yes. Obviously, that's how they talk. But that's what subtitles are there for. They help, they're there to help you understand what's going on. I didn't really know what was going on. I mean, I kind of had an idea. But that's just about it. An idea, but not the full picture. You know what I mean? And also the characters are way too close to home for me. They remind me of people that I knew. Which is very good. But in this case, not really. Same problem with This Is English. It just feels too... There's nothing wrong with portraying a film as being too real, but it's it's too real to the point where it feels a little too close to home, a little too 
accurate. Do you know what I mean? And, um... Don't... Oh, excuse me. Um, there are many scenes where it just... It kind of felt like this is something that was taken inspiration from in terms of a, just a few scenes, mainly. And I, I didn't, I wasn't engaged with it all that much. I was just, I, I was, I didn't understand what they said. You know, if I was Scottish, if I was born in Glaswegian, I would have watched it better, in a way. But yeah, hmm. And the story is just kind of, it's just very indescribable, and it's executed in such a weirdly all over the place way and it doesn't help that there's a lot of shouting a lot of running and threatening words and also like this is England this film has fantastically a lot of profanity like they use cunt loads of times and they use fuck it's spectacularly sweary what's to expect from something like this and um, apparently according to INDB this film was shot in sequence interesting so the fi- so the film actually used the word fuck and its variations uh, 313 times in the film which is insane really really insane um, a few scenes excuse me there are a few scenes, I think I mentioned this before, I can't remember, but there are a few scenes where I genuinely just had zero clue what's going on. Most of the scenes I can picture, you know, I can get the idea of, but there are some I'm like, what what relevance does that have to the plot? And the answer is something, but I just can't figure it out. In a way, and I, at the point I was just kind of bored, and it, just, it did nothing for me. Yeah, this movie was not good. Disappointing. A shame, really, because, you know, the trailer made it look quite good, but the trailer's a little misleading. I thought it was, like, a a really nice and really relaxing com- uh, comedy, um, like drama, but no, it's actually a super realistic, hard, hard, you know, bloody drama. I never watch any Ken Loach's films. I might watch I, Daniel Blake, or, um... And the other one, which I forgot, already forgot the name of. Help me. Uh, sorry, we, sorry, we, we missed you. Maybe I might watch them, but not now. Unfortunately, this film is just... It, it, it didn't click with me. It didn't do a thing for me. I was originally going to stop at 20 or 30 minutes, because it's... First off, it's a bit boring and B. It it feels a little too accurate to what happens in real life. But then I kept watching it because that's what I am. And unfortunately, it, it it didn't get better. It just made it worse. So yeah, not a good movie, but one that I can perfectly say that it's. I guess all right if you like these sort of dramas and all that. But for me, uh, you know, Chavi, skinheads. Although that's this is England and. Um, rough teenagers uh, dramas just don't click with me as much with a few exceptions so I'm going to give Swix uh, Swix, what the fuck is a Swix Sweet 16 a f- uh, f- 6 out of 10 just a 6 it's not that great, it's not that bad it's very much kind of unmemorable but I can see why people love it so there you go. Um, sweet, uh, sweet sixteen. I wish it was better. I really do, but it was just kind of all over the place. I didn't understand what was going on. All right. So next up, as promised, I'm going to be talking about the disappearance of Alice Creed. So will our friend? Martin Compton uh, be just as good as, as he was in this film? We'll find out. So if you have seen Sweet 16, uh, what do you think about it? Is it good, bad, decent? Do you want to see it? Let me know below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. 
don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And until next time, you're right, pal.